About a month ago, Roman Reigns would announce that he has leukemia and was going to leave WWE. This was devastating news for anyone who watches wrestling and anyone who has had to deal with a family member who's had this disease. Cancer is just something you don't fuck with. But guess what? WWE fucked with it. On last night's episode of Monday Night Raw, November 19th, depending on when you're watching this, Dean Ambrose said something that was shocking, despicable, and just downright embarrassing. It doesn't matter if you're a wrestler, a manager, if you don't even watch wrestling at all. As human beings, we are born with this instinct to know right from wrong. We may do things from time to time, but what the WWE is doing is downright malicious. Last night during Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins' segment, Dean Ambrose used Roman Reigns' cancer in the storyline. All of us in the Shield are going to get what we deserve. Roman has to answer to the man upstairs, and you have to answer to me. This is a company that does charities for Make-A-Wish and breast cancer. Do their sponsors and anyone who has anything to do with them even watch their show? And I know one of the arguments you can make is it's just a storyline and Roman Reigns is probably okay with it. They have done similar angles in the past few years, one where Paige used Charlotte's dead brother in an angle, saying he didn't have much fight in him. Ric Flair actually broke down in tears over it. They also did a segment where CM Punk threw the ashes of the very recently deceased at the time, Paul Bearer, in The Undertaker's face. Paul Bearer's family said they had no idea that WWE was even going to go that far. WWE is a sick company. They hide behind the guise of acceptance and equality, and they claim to have changed their ways, but they are just as bad as they've always been. And like I said, there's so many excuses that people can make. Oh, it's not a big deal, it was just for a storyline. Was it just for a storyline back in the 90s when they brought Brian Pillman's wife on Raw two days after he died to berate her with questions like, how are you going to go on now that your husband is dead? Was it just for a storyline when they made fun of Jerry Lawler's heart attack literally one week after it happened? Everyone knows that this company is sick, but using Roman Reigns' leukemia is the worst thing they've ever done. WWE need to be held responsible for their actions. They need to know that this is not okay. I'm not saying that the WWE should be shut down or anything. They need to know that there is a line that you just don't cross. There's actually not one but two storylines that are using death in them at the moment. Last week, Ruby Riot held up the glasses of Natalia's recently dead father, Jim Neidhart, and tore them in half in front of a crying Natalia. This does not make your storylines any better, WWE. WCW, ECW, TNA, GCW, New Japan, Ring of Honor, none of these companies have ever used cancer of one of their stars as part of a storyline. You need to get your shit together, WWE. I wish Roman Reigns the best on his recovery from cancer, and to the WWE, 